Are you single? Getting ready to mingle? Join our singles party. How old are you and what do you do for a living? Um, I'm 23 years old. I work for IHSS. I take care of people and make sure they're feeling healthy and comfortable. Awesome. John? Hi, I'm John. I'm 30 years old and I'm a paraprofessional at Durfee. So I work with like special needs kids. Awesome. Uh, Steven? Hey everyone, my name is Steven. I'm 34. I'm a utility locator, but actually applying to become a field coordinator tomorrow. So definitely might be some changes there. Awesome and good luck. Awesome. Uh, CJ? Hi, I'm CJ. I'm 28 and I'm an assistant kitchen manager. Awesome. Marlo? Hi, my name is Marlo. I am 58 and I am an LCSW, a licensed clinical social worker. Awesome. Sean? Hello, I'm uh, 28 and uh, I do engineering, specifically digital circuit verification. Awesome. Alex? Hey everyone, um, I'm 37 and I work in supply chain uh, for an aerospace company. Awesome. Uh, Mark? I'm 41 and uh, I own a construction company. Awesome. Uh, Derek? Uh, hey, everybody. Um, I just turned 48 yesterday. Uh, short answer is, is I'm an IT computer geek. Long answer is, is I'm an infrastructure and cloud networking systems administrator for a healthcare. Awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Arturo? Hi, everyone. I'm 26 years old and I work as a counselor. Awesome. And Susan? I'm 29, and I'm a food scientist at a company, a food company. Awesome. All right, everyone, we're going to get started with the questions. So the first question on the floor is, what are you currently looking for? New friends to date someone new? A long-term relationship? What are you currently looking for? And I will start with you, Don Diego. Um, honestly, just looking for um, long term relationship wise, or maybe just meet new people, make some new friends. Awesome. John? Uh, I'm looking for something that eventually turns into a long term relationship, but I would also like to make some new friends as well. Awesome. Uh, Steven? It's overall looking for the long term. Somebody that can enjoy nerding out, you know, board game nights, movies, comic cons, things of that nature. Awesome, uh, CJ. Um, I'm looking for something a little more long term. Eventually, leading up to marriage, someone I can hang out with and go to conventions and things like that. Awesome, Marlo. I'm looking for a long term relationship. Um, with my best friend. Awesome. Sean? Yeah, um, also looking for something more long-term, um, but definitely open to friendships as well. Awesome. Uh, Alex? Also looking for long-term. Um, love meeting new people to make friends and everything, but... Um, being 37, I just kind of want to settle down and just, you know, get that special someone. So that, that's where I'm coming from. For sure. Uh, Mark? Uh, really, right now, I'm looking for start into some friendships, see where it goes from there. They got to be able to be active in the world and be able to get out in nature, scuba dive, so on and so forth. So if it turns into a long-term thing. That's what it is. But you got you, you got you got to be able to be active with me. There ain't no sitting around. Awesome, Michael. Looking for a uh, long term relationship or making new friends. Awesome, uh, Derek. Uh, the goal is to find a long term relationship. 
um, hearing a lot of talk. So I want to share something with you guys. I am trying out, I already opened my package, this new uh, fragrance line today, Marissa Elaine Fragrances. You can order online. This is happy. Oh, this one. This one is my favorite. It's clean, but sexy, kind of like a date night. So this is definitely my favorite. This is happy. I'm gonna spray this on, it smells so good. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. It almost smells like you could just kiss the bottle. I don't know how to explain it. Definitely check out Marissa Elaine fragrances. About conventions, so that's great. Love that. Awesome. Uh, Arturo? I'm definitely more on the line of long-term relationship, yeah. Awesome. And Susan? A long-term relationship, someone who I can travel with a lot. So. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So the next question up is, uh, do you have children? All right, that's the question. Do you have children? So I will start with you, Susan. Do you have children? I do not. Okay. okay. And would you like children in the future? Yes, 100%. Awesome. Arturo, same question for you. Yes, I don't have any children, and I would like to have children one day. Awesome. Uh, Derek? I have a 16-year-old son and an 11-year-old daughter. Awesome. And would you like any more in the future? <laughs> Uh, no plans on it. I mean, if somebody, you know, I find and I'm click with, you know, has them already, then obviously no problem there, but no plans on me having any more. Okay. Awesome. Michael? Um, I do not have any children and I do plan to have children in the future. Awesome. Uh, Mark? Yes, I have three kids. I have a 20 year old that's about to be 21. And then I've got uh, a daughter that's two and a son that's three and a half. And as far as having more kids in the future, I intentionally got fixed, but uh, I guess that could be reversed if it's for the right person. Okay, that's permanent pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Alex? Uh, yeah, I do have um, three kids. Love them like to death, six, four, and two. Sean? I do not currently have any kids, um, but I do wish to have kids someday. Awesome. Uh, Marlo? I have uh, four kids in their 30s, and no, I do not want any kids. More kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> CJ? Um, I currently don't have any kids. Um, at this point in my life, I don't want children, but I'm open to changing my mind, and I might down the road. Awesome. Steven? So I do not have kids, but I'm open to it, you know, after marriage happens. But lean more to adoption, if that. Awesome. Okay, awesome. John? Uh, I don't have kids currently, but I think I would like them in the future. Uh, I work in the school district, so I've been like getting more used to working with kids, and I think it's a fun experience. Awesome. And John Diego? Um, no, I do not have kids, but I do plan to have kids in the future if I find the right woman in my life. Awesome. All right, everyone, we're going to go on to the next question. So the next question on the floor is, why do you think you're single? All right. Why do you think you're single? And I'll start with you, John Diego, and I'll give you a moment to answer that if you need a moment. <laughs> um, honestly, I haven't been trying to get into any relationship until um, now lately. So that about it. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> John? Uh, I know for me, I'm kind of um, shy and socially anxious with that kind of thing. And I don't really have a lot of confidence. I'm trying to build that. Okay. Gotcha. Steven? 
So definitely from not making enough first moves, attempts, put myself in environments to actually make those attempts. Plus, yeah, I can be quite socially awkward sometimes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, CJ? Um, well, I left a serious toxic relationship about four years ago. So I've been doing a lot of work on myself. That's the main reason I'm, I've been single. Um, but also with my line of work, I tend to not have the same time off as people. So I'm not going out as much. Um, I'm also kind of shy. Okay, I got you. Uh, Marlo? Yeah. Um... I work a lot and um, I, I don't really go to clubs or anything like that. And I'm not a fan of online dating. So probably because of um, not putting myself out enough, which is why I'm here. For sure. <laughs> Sean? Yeah, I think there's, you know, kind of a multitude of reasons. Um, uh, not really good at putting myself out there. Also pretty socially awkward, like some others here, it sounds like. Um, haven't really put in probably the best effort, you know, to finding someone. So. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Alex? Um, I, I would say that <clears throat> um, my, my kids are like really priority number one at the moment. And with their, them being very young, I, I think they'll always be prior number one. And so I put myself second and I guess I don't put myself out there enough to like really get a chance to meet people and build that connection. So I would say that and similar to a couple of other people, like, you know, just sometimes it's just an awkward setting to just like put yourself out there and just be like, hey, you know, trying to get to know someone for a dating purpose. I, I think a lot of times I put myself out there to just um, have a conversation rather than to like build upon, like, are we gonna have actually have a date? Sorry for the long winded answer on that no, one. No, that's fine. <laughs> gotcha, thank you, Alex. Uh, Mark? Working kids, gotta pay the bills, gotta raise the kids. So, you know, it's a lonely life being a single father. For sure. Michael? Um, I relatively recently moved to the area and I'm still trying to find places to meet people. And uh, that's part of the reason that I want to also make friends. Um, because I just, I guess I'm single because I just haven't put myself out there a bunch yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Derek? Uh, kind of like what CJ said, uh, I was divorced. Well, I was married for 20 years, divorced for two, and I've been kind of working on myself. Um, definitely not an issue of meeting people. I DJ on the side also. So it's just, it wasn't the right time until now. And now I'm trying to get back out there and find somebody who I click with. For sure. Arturo? Yeah, so I was in a pretty serious relationship about a year ago. So the first like six months, I'd say I was just trying to like work on myself and being independent, prioritizing my grad school. And now that I'm done and I have my career, I've been just I've been trying just a little bit. But I mean, no such nothing's really clicked yet. So I'm just exploring all options and not letting myself feel like discouraged. For sure. Uh, Susan? Um, I, with my work, I travel quite a bit and it, that makes it a little bit difficult. And yeah, I've also, I've been on online dating for about a year now and nothing's really clicked. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, everyone. So the next question up, this is a fun one. All right. So the question is, who is slash was your biggest celebrity crush? And I'll ask again, who is or was your biggest celebrity crush? Just a fun question to get to know you better. So I will start with you, Susan. Who is slash was your biggest celebrity crush? <laughs> I'd probably go with Zach Efron. Oh my gosh, like Zach Efron. I forgot about him. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, Arturo? Mm, maybe, Um, I guess, Selena Gomez. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Jerry? 
Uh, definitely Mariah Carey. Awesome. Uh, Michael? Um, it's a pretty recent one, Ella Purnell. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Mark? Oh, Pamela Anderson all day long. <laughs> okay, Baywatch, all right. <laughs> uh, Alex? Um, so if you date me back, so Jessica Alba or Julia Stiles, <clears throat> back growing up. Um, okay. Maybe <laughs> Emma Watson now, I guess. Awesome, okay. Uh, Sean? Yeah, um, it is, was, and probably always will be uh, Anna Kendrick. Um, love the Pitch Perfect movies. I don't know, she just seems like a really fun, funny, and cute person. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Good, good pick, Sean. I like that. That's a good pick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, Marlo? Oh, John Wick. I love John Wick. <laughs> Keanu awesome. Reeves. Yes, awesome. <laughs> uh, CJ? Um, so I don't currently have a celebrity crush, but when I was a teenager, it used to be Daniel Radcliffe. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Steven? I would have to choose Perusa Bulk. Awesome. Well, where, how, how would I know them? What, what projects have we been involved? I guess from like the Water Boy, she was the girlfriend or the craft, the main brunette. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. The obscure one. <laughs> awesome. Uh, John? Uh, mine's also gonna date me a bit, but probably Hillary Duff. That was like an older one. Oh yes, Hillary. She was on top. She was like Miley before Miley. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, John Diego. Um, that a hard one. <laughs> um, my answer would be the same as CJ. I really didn't have. I don't have one. But back in high school, mine would be Miley Cyrus. Oh, Miley. Okay. Awesome. All right, everyone. That was fun. So the next question up is, who do you admire most? Okay. Who do you admire most? And I will start with you, John Diego. Who do you admire most? I would say, um, I would say my older sister. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, John? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, if I had to pick, I'd probably say uh, an author that I've been big on reading, uh, Terry Pratchett. He's somewhat I bit of a writer myself, and I really want to make something that like a lot of people can read and resonate with, and he's a big inspiration for me. Awesome. Uh, Steven? Oh, so one I do admire is Dr. Jordan Peterson. Uh, CJ? Um, my answer is honestly not really profound, but I really admire my mom. She's very hardworking. And um, we as a family have had a lot of loss over the last few years. And she just kind of managed to stay strong and hardworking throughout all of that. And I, I really admire that about her. That's nice. I love that. Mom, uh, Marlo? Yeah, definitely my grandma. Um, she taught me how to cook and garden and clean. And she's very loving, very supportive. And I just admire her. All right. She's gone, but I admired her. She was here and I still do. Oh, I love that. Uh, Sean? Yeah, going to have to um, agree with CJ, not her mom, but but my mom. Um, <laughs> um, she just, you know, very strong willed and, and, you know, did a great job raising me. I'm a bit, a bit of a mom as a boy, but, um, you know, she's just uh, always a shoulder to cry on and, and an ear to listen. I just admire her, her patience and, and her work ethic and everything about her. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Alex? Um, I would say a mix between my grandma Wella, or, or my mom, because they just were really instrumental on uh, raising me 
um, just the, the personal stuff that they had to go through to do it and everything. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, that's on a personal level, on a professional level, level, I would say Warren Buffett, because he just seems like so happy, even, even though like he's so rich, obviously he can be happy being rich, but like, um, like he'll just eat fast food stuff or whatever. Like he's really cheap <laughs> as well. So like, he seems like happy without having to spend a bunch of money on even a meal. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Mark? My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, awesome. <laughs> Michael? Um, I would say my uh, my father. He's a behavioral health technician, and he always knows what to say at the right time, and he's very charismatic, always been someone I looked up to. Awesome. Uh, Derek? Unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but I would have to say my uncle Dallas. Um, I never had a father in my life, and he was the closest thing I ever had to one. So definitely be him. Awesome. Uh, Arturo? Yeah, I'd also say my mom, too, just because of all the sacrifices and support she's giving, not just to me, but to our whole family. Awesome. And Susan? Okay. Um, I would say my brother, um, he's been a big inspiration in my life. Um, he, we've struggled with a lot of the same struggles and he's kind of led me through them a lot. So I'd say my brother. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you for answering the question. So the next question up is, what is your idea of a good date? Okay. So again, the question is, what is your idea of a good date? And I will start with you, Susan. Um, somewhere where the conversation flows and usually something active. I love like a mini golf or something like that, which is always fun. For sure, for sure. Uh, Arturo? Yeah, something where the conversation is definitely flowing, but like I love like a movie night, whether it be at home or the theaters and then going for a walk after. Awesome. Uh, Derek? Uh, that's a tough one. Depends on if we're talking about first date or, you know, your 30th date. Um, I pretty much like everything. I mean, like it's already been said, movie nights, um, out doing activities, uh, you name it. I probably enjoy doing it. Uh, the biggest thing is just making sure that, you know, obviously the person I'm with is doing something they enjoy as well. Awesome. Michael? Um, yeah, something where the conversation flows, like a, like a coffee date or even a dinner date. Uh, mini golf was a great idea. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm really active, so I like uh, maybe like a light hike or something like that. Awesome. Uh, Mark? Well, it had to be something outdoors, something to get the blue blood pumping at first, you know, something exciting. And you calm down in the evening, go for a walk, dinner, whatever, chill out for the rest of the night and hang out, you know? For sure, for sure. Alex? I mean, it could be a combination of things. I, I kind of think that if it's a first date, uh, somewhere quiet where you can kind of like have a conversation, build that connection, and then do an activity. So the first dates that I've been on is where, you know, we'll, either get a drink or coffee, go to a concert that we both are into, whatever that we both agree upon ahead of time. Um, so that's a, like the transition that I um, I think worked for me. Awesome. Sean? Yeah, um, I think an ideal date for me would be something like getting coffee, just kind of chatting, getting to know each other, and then maybe going bowling or, or going for a, for a hike, I think doing something that's you know, an activity afterwards. For sure, for sure. Marla? I think um, an ideal first date would be like um, going to the beach with a picnic and a blanket and maybe some wine and watching the sunset. And talking, getting to know the person a little better. Oh, I like that. Romantic. Okay. <laughs> CJ. Um, my ideal first date or like 
general dates is like I love going to coffee shops because like anything that where we can just sit and talk and like learn about each other um I'm also really big into going to the movies especially if we're gonna see a horror movie I love horror movies I'm also open to anything active like um hikes or nature walks awesome Steven so I would say anything that has pretty equal entertainment and communication say for example going to a video game arcade bar doing a picnic in the park with some pokemon go or checking out a convention like rocky mountain nightmares awesome awesome uh john uh i've done the uh movie and the dinner i really do like them but i'd like to try something different maybe like uh, bumper boats or like go-karts or even bowling something like a bit more active for sure uh, don diego um mine is would be a coffee date maybe a nice movie i like all kind of movie romance horror wartime movies or just a nice walk just to talk and communicate Awesome. All right, everyone. So the next question up is, what would you buy if you were given $1,000 right now? And yes, I know that's random. <laughs> Again, the question is, what would you buy if you were given $1,000 right now? All right. I will start with you, Don Diego. What would you buy? Or what would you do? <laughs> mm, that's a good question. Um, can I go last on this one? Okay, I'll star you. I'll put a little star by you. Uh, John? I'd probably buy a better TV and a PlayStation 5, I think. Some games. Awesome. Uh, Steven? So, if I have the option, I really want for little, so I would definitely want to put into some savings, but if I need to buy something, it would probably go on a uh, comic book shopping spree. Awesome. <laughs> uh, CJ? Realistically, I'd probably put it away. I've been trying to save for a new car. But if I had to spend it, it would be to redo my closet. Because how it's it's really small, so how it's structured, I can't fit a lot in there. So I would, fake, I would hire someone to kind of put... Um, more shelves or something in there to make it a little more functional for me. Awesome. Marlo? Is to Hawaii? Ooh, yes. Yes, Hawaii. I love that. <laughs> uh, Sean? Yeah, um, it's interesting to hear other people would probably save it. Um, I'd probably also put it towards various things like savings or paying down my car payment. But if I had to spend it on something fun, which sounds like that's kind of the question, um, I'd probably go with the TV route um, and then, you know, maybe upgrade a few pieces of furniture. I've still got some hand-me-downs that uh, probably that have seen their years of use. So, <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Alex? Uh, for fun, it would be probably a like a uh, down payment on some kind of vacation, whether that's like Mexico, Cancun, like um, that type of stuff for like that stuff. I would be similar to Sean where I would probably finish paying off my car. So, so close to being done. It'd be the first car that I finished paying off and it would be so cool to just have that. You'd just be done, you know, with the car payment. Awesome. I hear that. <laughs> Mark? Oh, I just put it in fuel in my boat and head over to the Bahamas. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, Michael? Um, I would definitely put it towards travel somewhere I haven't been before. Um, maybe someplace out of the country. That'd be a lot of fun. Awesome. Uh, Derek? Uh, it would definitely have to be travel. Um, you're talking like Disney World, Universal Studios, the beach. I know a thousand bucks just barely gets you in the door, but I would have to use it for a trip like that. For sure. Awesome. Arturo? I recently put a down payment on a new car as well, so I would probably have it be sent straight to a, a car payment. Yeah, just to lessen the damage. 
Austin, and Susan. Travel for sure. Um, I hopefully, I don't know, road trip to all the national parks would be great or somewhere. But no, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of people were saying travel. I hear you guys on that. I want to travel too more. So I, I get that. <laughs> all right, everyone. So you might have to adjust that question for inflation next time. The thousand doesn't, I know, doesn't carry I know. as I far as it used to. <laughs> I, I wrote this question last year, but I'm like, I hear you on that. Um, honestly, put half of it into my savings, spend the rest of it for um, travel, probably treat myself out to a nice reward for my hard work, and that'd be about it. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Describe your three best qualities. All right. Describe your three best qualities. And I will start with you, Susan. Um, I'm fairly empathetic. I'm pretty driven. And I feel like compassionate, compassionate and empathetic kind of that area. Awesome. Awesome. Arturo. Can you repeat the question actually? Sorry. Describe your three best qualities. I would say humble, loyal and caring. Awesome. Uh, Jared? Um, I would have to say definitely loyal uh, to a fault. Um, very passionate. And uh, I know it's going to sound cheesy, but uh, definitely shivery. I mean, I still believe in the whole opening doors for women and pulling out chairs, standing up when they walk into the room. Um, just who I am. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Michael? Um, I would say I'm very compassionate. I have a pretty good sense of humor and I am uh, very loyal. Awesome, Mark? Transparent, uh, straightforward, and honest. Awesome, Alex? Um, I would say understanding, trustworthy, and once you get to know me, very silly. Like, I can be very um, in the moment and just joke around and everything. Awesome. Sean? Yeah, um, I would say um, honesty um, and uh, compassion. And then uh, once I grow out of my shell, uh, people say I'm uh, quite humorous. Marlo? I, I'm a good communicator and definitely loyal and also uh, supportive. Awesome. Uh, CJ? Um, I would have to say I'm very hardworking, kind, and humorous. I have a pretty decent sense of humor. Awesome. Uh, Steven? So I'm definitely very giving in a relationship. I also practice chivalry and I am a good listener as well as talker with open communication. Awesome. Uh, John? Uh, so I'd say I'm a pretty good listener and uh, I'm very understanding of like other people's circumstances i try to see things from that point of view i've been doing that a lot more lately and once i get like out of my shell i think i'm pretty funny most of my friends do but it takes a little bit to get there awesome and john diego i would say my um sense of humor my somewhat weird personality that get everyone laughing and my devotion. Awesome. All right, everyone. That was awesome. Thank you for answering that question. So the next question up is, what are you passionate about? Okay. What are you passionate about? And I will start with you, John Diego. What are you passionate about? Um, I will say about writing. I love the write. Made about two novels already. And... 
I like to expand my creativities, ideas, and imagination, and I feel kind of free. Awesome, it's awesome. Uh, John? Uh, probably writing. I haven't done it a bit, but once I get started, it's like really tough to stop. Like, you know, hours will pass. Um, and I'm pretty passionate about my job. I like helping kids. It's nice to like, you know, go to bed knowing that you made a, uh, a difference. Awesome. Steven? So it's taken a lot of time to get to the point, but I am very passionate about being a creator in terms of uh, writing songs, learning guitar for that, uh, writing short stories, making videos on YouTube. To name a few. Um, hmm. I'm passionate about um, food and food management. That's partially why I put a career, I have a career in that field. Um, just lately, I haven't been doing a lot of like creative cooking because I have, I live with picky eaters in my family. Um, but I also am really passionate about Halloween and Halloween season. Awesome. Marla? Um, I'm passionate about my work as a social worker. I am very much an advocate for um, people who are in need. And I'm also passionate about music. I love music. Anything from Christopher Cross sailing, that's one of my favorites, to anything new, just music in general. Awesome. Sean? Yeah, um, I'm passionate, I guess, uh, about bowling. I, I bowl not particularly good, but but I do do it quite a bit and been working on it. Um, also, pretty much anything tech related, really enjoy, you know, computer stuff, 3D printing kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know, I'll have to hit up Steven because um, the whole content creation thing, uh, I'd like to start getting more into that, so. Awesome. Alex? Um, I would say uh, I'm a foodie. I do like different, like just trying out different stuff, but I love music, specifically like alternative rock. And I also do a little bit of guitar and everything like that. Have to get back into it. I used to love doing it, but I just kind of got out of it. So, Awesome. Mark? In this order, God, family, and spearfishing. Awesome. Michael? Um, I would say I'm passionate about music as well as my career, which kind of goes hand in hand being a sound designer. Um, I love to create the worlds that plays and theatrical pieces exist in. So. Awesome. Uh, Jared? Uh, number one has to be my kids. Love my kids. They're everything to me. Uh, definitely passionate towards them. Uh, number two has to be music as well. I mean, I've been DJing since I was 13. Absolutely love music and how it can change somebody's feelings or, you know, their emotions, having a bad day to a good day, just like that. So love music. Awesome. Uh, Arturo? I'm definitely passionate about my career as a counselor. I love supporting my students it's always great when I hear about all the colleges they get accepted to when they're looking for me and I'm not there it's really heartwarming when I feel like I make a big impact on each individual student that I meet with and other things I'm passionate about is film I do have a minor background in film I love analyzing watching writing um, and I'm very passionate about like cafes and diners I love going to new cities and trying new coffee shops awesome and Susan I'm passionate about food. I do product development for a food company. So I go every day I get to try new products that we haven't got on the market quite often. And I'm also, as of a couple of years ago, I'm really passionate about running and running my first marathon this year. So I'm excited. Oh, that's really cool. Good luck on that. That sounds fun. All right, everyone. So that comes to the, that's the conclusion pretty much of the question. So the final question up is just going to be, 
how can you be contacted? And I will start with you, Susan. How can you be contacted? Um, email susan underscore wr at comcast.net. Okay, can you say it one more time? It broke up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. S like Sarah, U like UFO, S like Sarah again, A like Anna, N like Nicholas underscore W like whale, R like Robert at comcast.net. All right, Susan, sounds good. Have a good night. Arturo. All right. So I kind of wrote it down as my profile. So it could just that could be my email. I mean that that's the best way to reach me. So it's my name, A R T U R O Reyes R E Y E S five seven one nine eight at gmail.com. That would be the best way to reach me. All right. Sounds good, Arturo. Have a good night. Let's see. Derek. Uh, be email as well. Uh, it's in my profile name, but it's Drake four six four at yahoo.com. And that's D R A K E four six four at yahoo.com. All right, Derek. Sounds good. Have a good night. Michael. Um, yeah. So I put my Instagram in my, uh, name here, uh, speed of sloth, but I could also be reached by my email, which is michael.w.rv at gmail.com. All right, Michael, sounds good. Have a good night. Mark? Email address is going to be mds, that's Mike Delta Sierra 1182 at gmail.com. All right, Mark, sounds good. Have a good night. Uh, Alex? I also put my email as my username for this call, but it's Flor floresalex500 at gmail.com. That's Flo floresalex500 at gmail.com. So F is in Frank, L's, uh, L as in Larry, O as in Orange, R as in Ray, E as in Edward, S as in Sam, A as in Alex, L as in Larry, E as in Edward, X as in X-Ray, 500 at gmail.com. All right, hey. Alex. Um, Thanks, everybody. Have yeah. a great night. Good night. Uh, Sean? Yeah, um, so you can reach me at uh, Instagram. It's Sean, S-H-A-W-N, the letter, or the number one, and then T-A-R. Um, it's a little Pokemon reference. Uh, or uh, same thing, I guess you can uh, reach me by email at um, S is in Sierra, a as in alpha, N as in November, D as in delta, R as in um, rainbow, <laughs> E as in echo, um, W as in whiskey, 1179 at gmail. So all out, that's S, Andrew, 1179 at gmail.com. All right, Sean, sounds good. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Marlo? Yeah, my email address is marlo l555 at yahoo.com. That's M-A-R-L-O-L-555 at yahoo.com. Thank you. All right, Marlo, sounds good. Have a good night. You too. Uh, CJ? Um, the best way to reach me is by Instagram. Uh, my username is at mini cocinera, which is M as in Mary. I, N as in Nancy, I, C, O, C, I, N, E, R, A. Awesome. All right, CJ, have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Steven? Yes, yeah, so I've got my Instagram tag. Uh, it's nightmare underscore productions. That is K N I G H T M A R E underscore. P R O D U C T I O N S, which is also my YouTube channel name. Awesome. All right, Stephen. Have a good night. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. John. All right. I've got my email and my name, but it's uh just to make sure it's J O N D A V I D P I N E A U at gmail.com. John David right. Pino. 
All right. Sounds good, John. Have a good night. You too. And John Diego. Um, you can find me on Facebook, um, Don Diego Scott, or by email, donscott18gmail.com. All right, Don Diego, sounds good. Have a good night, and thanks for coming out. Follow us and subscribe to our channel to join our next single party.